Hi guys, uh, this video relates to systems that we sell, uh, but it can be used in general for any system that you buy. Uh, many systems these days support two types of BIOS setup. The first type is called Legacy. Legacy is the original, older type, it's more compatible. The new type is UEFI. UEFI supports uh, larger hard drives, it's also a lot more secure and faster to load. So we try to use this type of BIOS setup on the systems that support it. Uh, I'm not sure why, but Dell and some of the other manufacturers say, set by default on the BIOS setting legacy. And if by chance a system that you get from us does set back to legacy because uh, temporary loss of power or something else. We don't know why sometimes it happens. You need to set it back to UEFI. Uh, on this system, we're actually working with a Dell T1650, but uh, the same procedure is it can be applied to a lot of Dell configurations and actually from other manufacturers. The, the actual settings in the BIOS and the location might be slightly different, but the settings would be the same. Uh, for this Dell system, we're going to hit the power button. Immediately, we're going to start hitting the F12 key. The F12 key is going to bring us to the startup menu or the boot menu. Now, from that boot menu, we are going to select Setup. As you can see here, it's saying the hard drive is legacy, even though it's set up for UEFI. That is because we need to make some changes in the BIOS. Now, it says BIOS setup. That's where we're going to scroll down to the options and select that one. Now, there's a couple of things. We're going to just review them. We're going to into boot sequence. Now, for boot sequence, we need to have UEFI. The hard drive is not showing up there for some reason, but there is a way that we can actually add it. I personally like to remove the network configuration and I'm using a mouse for this so I remove these two and I add boot option okay now I'm gonna give a name to this boot option and I'm gonna name it capital C for my C drive I am also going to do a search for the location simply when I hit search it's gonna go into the primary hard drive you're gonna see a directory called EFI, select that one, I'm sorry, it went twice, and I go to boot and I select this file. And I'm gonna say OK here. I'm gonna say OK. Now, it did enable the network cards. I like to have it work faster, so I'm trying to remove them from there. So I leave it like that, Windows Boot Manager and my C. My C is gonna be my hard drive. And I'm gonna hit here, apply. Now, there's another change that I need to look at. Advanced uh, boot options, I, I leave enable legacy option. And there's a third thing here. In system configuration, there's two settings that we use. We can use AHCI or RAID-ON. For this particular system, the T1650, we use AHCI. As soon as we hit, uh, click there, we're going to say yes. Okay. Now, that's all we have to change in terms of having the system boot up. We're going to say apply, and we're going to say exit. Now, I'm going to hit the F12 key again, because I want you to see that it's going to have the option on the UEFI menu. It's starting up right now, so I'm going to hit the F12 key continuously. That's to make sure that I catch it. I want to make sure I catch it. I already caught it, because it's giving me the message up here. And we're going to wait for the boot menu here. It still lists the hard drive as a legacy boot. I'm gonna actually go back to the BIOS setup and I'm gonna remove it. It might not list it. If it doesn't list it, great. You're just gonna don't have to do this the extra step. So I'm gonna go into the boot sequence. Although I have UEFI, I wanna remove that as a legacy boot up option. So I'm gonna remove it. I'm gonna select a legacy. I'm gonna select the hard drive. And I'm gonna select uh, the disk drive. We don't have a disk drive here. So I'm going to select this too. I'm going to say apply. I'm going to remove it. I have to make sure that I go back and select UEFI, otherwise it's going to try to start from the um, 
it's going to try to start from the legacy menu and I'm going to hit apply after that I'm going to hit exit here I'm going to hit again the F12 key because I want to go to the boot menu you should actually see the choices uh, a little different this time around Okay, for some reason it's still listed. I'm gonna just power it down. I'm going to see what happens if it's gonna it set boot menu set to OFE. So it should boot from OFE. I power it off from hitting the power button and I'm powering back up. I'm not gonna hit the F12 key again. I believe that we had to uh, save the changes on the legacy once then go back and change to OFE. That's the way to erase it. But it should boot now from OFE uh, with the parameters that we set to Windows uh, 7 in this case. We're just waiting. Okay, if it gives you this message, there's no problem. You say start from uh, normally, start Windows normally. And the message came up because it tried to boot from uh, legacy and it wasn't the right protocol so it gave an error. As you can see it's booting now Windows 7.